Ashgold TV, the official TV for Ashgold Sporting Club. There is an old saying that says, never despise small beginnings. Primarily known for its gold, the town of Obwase has a vibrant social and commercial ambience and its fair share of great stories that hold true to this adage. So one story goes that in 1978, a group of miners decided to form a football club for their leisure and health needs. Little did they know that they were sowing seeds for what will turn out to become a hugely successful local league side and a household name in African football circles, Ashanti Gold Sporting Club, as the team is currently known. What started as a training session for workers gradually began to take shape into a competitive club side with a much bigger vision. Dixon Dogbe was a founding member of that departmental team. We wanted to be exercising ourselves, so we, the senior staff, formed an association, which is a football team. We sat down and then formed a, what is called a departmental uh, league within ourselves in Obwasi. We were playing in the departmental leagues, and it's here that uh, uh, we were able to form a team of which we entered into second division and uh, we were able to qualify to first division. The team began to make an impression on many, especially when they qualified to play in the FA Cup finals. Emmanuel Ebomensa recollects fond memories of his playing days. 1985 FA Cup semi-finals in BA United. Oh, Massey Sports Stadium. The only goal I buy match no, me na share against me. Na me wa bent. Until na game no, na yo tough pa. Until yo boy, until second half no. One ball, 50 minutes no, we change it. Na me me buy. Until me buy a pe. Na yo say, me nyaa passive. I wo 18 line no. Until me fi na keep an EP. Na me me value it. Bow no, I find it. Na yo share. From a small departmental experiment, the team has grown in leaps and bounds, picking many trophies along the way. The chief executive gives us a peek into the trophy cabinet. The utmost trophy won by this club since its, its existence from 1978 is the ABC League Trophy that we won in succession, 1995, 1996, 1997, when professional football was introduced. Uh, this is the Makufe Cup won in South Africa were invited to participate in this tournament for the first time. We went and won this trophy. As the club grew, it became evident that it needed a place to call home, which was in keeping with the professional attitude and vision of the mother company. Prior to the establishment of a modern stadium facility, the team played its games at the Hoosey Park, which now serves as a marketplace. Augustus Kwekubedu takes us a few steps back into time. This is the old horsey park where Gophis started playing their match when they qualified to be first division. It is named Horsey Park. And so these are the pavilion for VIPs. And these are the main gates where car can come to. There's another gate at the other side and where you can just buy your tickets as well as the other side. And another post was the other end here. So the goal post was like this and now it was nice. And we paid him for about four, two seasons before he moved from here to the Lincoln Sports Stadium. The Ashgold story continues with the construction of a 20,000-seater and multipurpose stadium which was opened on April 17, 2005 and christened Lenclay Stadium as a dedication to former group's engineer and projects manager at AGC. The man responsible for the maintenance of the Lenclay Stadium and its facilities is John Williams. Lenclay, whom the stadium was named after, played a very important part in getting uh, partners to come in to help with the sponsorship deal. Some of the facilities at the stadium include a doping room, a conference room, 
a VIP lounge and a referee's room. We have the Lenclay Sports Stadium where there is the main secretariat. The secretariat comprises of the chief executive's office. We have a conference room where we have our trophies and uh, we have a, a VIP lounge where we entertain our executive visitors during matches. Um, the main VIP takes about 600 uh, spectators and then there's the main pitch that we use for our matches at Lake Clay. And then we have a block that contains um, 14 self-contained rooms. It also takes three players each when, when we are on camping or when they used to be the academy. This is the Sam Jonah Academy. As part of the facilities, the club has also invested in two training pitches and equipment to ensure that the players stay in shape at all times. We take a break here and when we come back, we'll tell you the story of the man behind Ashgold's success this season. Welcome back from the break. Number is more than the defense, so we have to score. Two, one, we have to score. Three, two, we have to score. Four, three, we have to score. In the beginning, we see that we are more than them. We don't bring, come bring the ball back so that the defenders or the players will come back and cover. No. He became eminent for his coaching prowess when he handled Gapoha FC in the first division, now Premier Division, and since then, Bashir Hayford has never looked back. After all my coaching career, it wasn't like maybe I played football and I stopped and said I wanted something to do. No, I wanted to be a coach right from the training career. It might interest you to know that because I wanted to be a very good coach, I struggled and got a scholarship to the University of uh, Education and in, in Hungary, Budapest. They did coaching, diploma, international football coaching. And I was attacked to a team called Uchpest FC. His next assignment took him to the camp of Pando Heart of Lions, where he led them to win the postseason top four trophy. I was able to win the top four with the Heart of Lions. So that was the first time the Heart of Lions won top four trophy. And I was the, the coach who, uh, by then, played uh, uh, Kotoko and uh, uh, Jerry Asari just went to the front and pulled the ball and said they, they, they won't play again. So the famous Ian Bubiu, which Kotoko, you know, took the ball away from the front. I was then the coach for Heart of Life. The pride of Kumasi, as Sante Kotoko came calling next, and true to his credentials as a trophy-winning coach, he won the Premier League with them. So I went to Kumasi and Sante Kotoko, coached them for three years, won eight trophies, including league, league trophy, and I left, I left to Kesby. His tenure with Ashgold has seen a significant turn in the fortunes of the club something that the players and his technical team attest to in this video message recording. He's been a father to me. Our coach is a very good coach. He teaches us a lot about life. He knows when to separate jokes from business. He demands a lot from a player. I'm happy to work with Coach Bashir Hayford. If I'll compare him, I'll compare him to Moreno. And he's an open man, a, a lavish giver. If I say lavish giver doesn't mean he gives money, but he's somebody who gives chance for you to operate. My joy will be seeing my students aspiring to greater heights. And they will say that uh, teacher A, teacher B, who helped me to be, to be like that. His influence on the playing body cannot be underestimated. His training regime is rigid, bringing out the best in each player and his recipe of discipline and hard work has propelled the team to the apex of Ghanaian football. If I were to be a carpenter, by now I would call myself master carpenter, the way I psych my team, the way I talk to my boys, the way I address issues, the way I solve problems, the way. So I think when I, any time I get a team, they, 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 are, they are solidly behind me. This will not be the end of Kujba Shefford. Kujba Shefford, given the opportunity, can do more because I think now the, the knowledge is big and I have to get avenues to impart this knowledge. If I, if, I, if I die and take it away, it will pain me because I, I know I have a lot of things to, to, to impart or to give out. Whenever the Ashgold success story is told, the name Bashir Hayford will find its deserving place in it.
Ash Gold's journey to the top this season has been made more remarkable by the fact that the bulk of their team is made up of youth who were promoted from the academy at the beginning of the season, an experiment they were hoping would pay dividends. I had a meeting with the technical body and told them that as much as we would like to win the championship, we don't have the money to go into the open market to buy the season players or the experienced players. So the coach took advantage of the reserve side, promoted a couple of them, notably Kadri, Imos Adai, Emmanuel Say, and they had fitted well into the senior team. And after the first two matches, we realized that it could be possible. When we won three matches on a trot. So far, so good. The dream is almost set. Match Day 29 presented a crucial challenge for the Abuakese. A victory at home to Wafa was a sure guarantee to sealing the league title. To whip up interest and generate the needed hype for the game, the team took to the township amidst pomp and pageantry, visiting three local radio stations to spread the word. In the last two seasons I've been here, we've been coming closer to the trophy and we couldn't win, but this time, before uh, we started our preseason, I, I told our chief executive that I was very sure that this year, as good was going to win something. I was very sure that this year, as good was going to win something. I was very sure that this year, as good was going to win something. I was very sure that this year, as good was going to win something. I was very sure that this In the cool of the night, a day before the game, the hushed sounds of victory rings through the hills and valleys of Abuasi. The task is set. The pitch well prepared, in readiness to cut off the snake's head, the reward beckoning, and everyone looking forward to the result. The fans are besides themselves with joy in anticipation of a resounding victory. Today's game is very difficult and it's going to be different from all the matches that we play, the previous matches. As you can see, everybody is determined, everybody is focusing. This match is a destiny match for us. And one thing for sure, the three points, and that will consolidate their chances of making sure at least that the trophy stays in Obwasi. By this time the stakes are high, they know that victory will all but seal the title for the fourth time in their history. Well, so certainly decent save there, Emmanuel Ossay's effort. The match itself was tough and though Ashko dominated proceedings, they had to wait till the 72nd minute when they were awarded a penalty which was converted by Emmanuel Ossay to give them a deserving long goal victory. And finally it comes. As a penalty, Emmanuel Osei was stripped from behind, and you can see the celebration already in the stands. Ashcold on the verge of becoming the league champions, and he scores! One nil there for Ashcold. Emmanuel Osei got the penalty, has scored, and Ashcold can't afford to celebrate because they are the league champions. We're contending with the likes of Raja, Raja Casablanca in the Cup Champions League. It is finally over. Coach Bashir Hefford has done it with Ashgold. Two seasons with the club. And this time, he is the champion. For the second time in his coaching career, he wins the league title. And these are the fans. You know, I just I just can't understand them. 19 years without a title. Ozi Zeba and Emmanuel Lasser will join the celebration. Deserve it, they are champions. 15 wins, 73, 7 draws, that will move the club to 52 points as a powder. Coach Bashir Hayford and his charges could not hold back their emotions and likewise former skipper of the side, Princeton Ouzwansa. It's a hard work and you can make a 
uh, we determined to kill the snake and that is where we cut the head here today. So that the rest will be just a rope. So we are going to be just a rope with no more snake. Um, so privileged to witness um, such a wonderful and amazing game today. No, I couldn't win it during my time. I'm so happy for the boys. I'm so happy for everyone here for the team winning the trophy today. I know everybody is happy. If we get the cup, everything is finished. One, 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 one can even assume that we are living one uh, something even like a continental title. As good, we are the best. And we are going to maintain that in Africa. The final result meant that Ashgold had finally broken the 19-year jinx and would go into the final match of the season as champion select. With the title already secured, Ashgold arrived in Accra to play a Great Olympics with only one thing on their minds, the crowning movement. Fast for Dodge Agbashi. Agbashi goes in. And it makes it two! Olympic State the lead here! An interesting and drama-filled game saw the home team run away with a 2-1 win. The loss did very little to dampen the spirits of Ash Cold, and the blast of the referee's final whistle threw them into jubilant celebrations. Even though they have been defeated, your coach can afford to look on and say, guys, we did a good job. Kujo Fianu, chief executive of the club, feels accomplished by this feat. I have a lot of self-satisfaction having delivered this trophy to Obuasi. It's been a long, rough and bumpy road. Uh, we've come so close at times, but yes, so far. But today it's done on all of us that yes, we've been rewarded after 30 solid weeks of good football, ups and downs, and here we are today as league champions for 2014, 2015. Well, I think it has been a long journey. We have exhibited what is uh, in the boys, and um, we just came to seal it all, which have made them the, the, the league champions, and everybody is happy. It's been a long time that uh, Ashgood have uh, been able to win this uh, league. So dedication, hard work, and determination, we've been able to win at the end of the season. We are very happy. This is the club's fourth league championship. The first after a 19-year wait and a moment to savor forever. Augustine Ahimfo is a former player. I urge the whole management to maintain this team and also add up. Because they are going to go into Africa. You need to poach players from here and there to, to beef up your team. The party has just begun. After the break, the journey back home for Boise's newly found heroes. Welcome back from the break. The journey back home couldn't have started on a better note as the management of Anglo Gold Ashanti proudly received the team at their headquarters in Accra. Today is really wonderful. Uh, we're so elated and happy, uh, you know, to host our own club, Ash Gold Football Club, uh, at our head office in Accra, Ghana. You know, it is a challenging time for the mining industry and a challenging time for our company as well. You know, so it does bring us joy that despite all the you know, challenges around us. There are such wonderful good news stories coming out of our camp that we can share with the football fraternity in Ghana and even beyond. So it's a great joy for us. En route to Obwasi, the team made a brief stopover in Okumfi Sacher, hometown of the head coach, to pay a courtesy call on the chiefs and people of the area. With nightfall approaching, the team finally made its entry into Obwasi 
where the championship party had already begun with thousands of fans braving the night to salute their heroes. This is my first time seeing us go that won a trophy. So I'm very happy today for my team winning a trophy for me. So I'm very glad. I can't even imagine how to sleep tonight. I, I'm, I'm really happy. When you look at the crowd, most of them are youthful. Simply because uh, the time we had three-time champions, by that time most of them have not been born. Some of them were also young. They feel so excited and look at the joy. Everybody trooping out a few uh, to the trophy. And had it not been the darkness, we'd have seen more than this. For the townsfolk, the long wait has been worthwhile. The big animal has finally delivered on its promise and revived their passion for the beautiful game. We will leave you with some of the celebrations. Join us on the next episode for more on the celebrations, post-season activities and all the tidbits from the Abuakese land. Ashgold TV, the official TV for Ashgold Sporting Club.